This fucking idiot. I gotta go check out what's in the attic. Dude, you're hearing noises in there. How about you don't go in there? You ever think about that? This, this, this guy's a bro. What's up, guys? My name's Yanamin, and welcome to the channel. Today, Caden and I are gonna be playing a game called There is a Man in the Attic, where there is a man in the attic. Right, let's go right into it. How do you know that for sure, though? I mean, it'd be kind of fucking stupid if it wasn't. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. Who? <laughs> I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at the time, and when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody is here. There is a man here. It freaked out my brother in the middle of the night a couple of times. And I'm an adult now. And that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Yeah, but now he's actually here, sir. Oh, whoa! It's a distant memory? Then how do you remember? Oh, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. So what do you do? What do you do when you become an adult? You get a fucking house with an attic? Go fuck yourself. There isn't even a sprint button. You don't run around in your own house at the is, middle of the is night there, is there not a, there's there's an attic in your house like there isn't an attic in my house there's a second there always there's no attic. are attics i don't need to use the bathroom now what do they, i want to you just up? haven't found the way to get in there yet the fuck is my phone at oh there we are what a fucking beautiful looking house all right hey brother i just wanted to let you know that we arrived at home safely thank you for the invitation we had a great time and it was nice to catch up i also feel like i have to apologize for lily's behavior but you know how kids are, and their imagination. She was probably very tired as well. See ya. Take care. Okay, well, there's my phone. It's getting late. I should clean up first. All right, well, clean up what? The fucking... Okay, today my brother Blake, came... Just... What? Why are you so lazy, Blake? I don't you know. Just clean up the table. Today my brother came to visit, and he brought his family along. His wife and their seven-year-old daughter. Her name is Lily, and technically she's my niece. It's been a while I mean, since I had last seen them. I, I, I don't know. So we spent about half what an hour catching up with is. each other. Like... I, I don't oh. dude, I don't know how family trees work. Maybe they're in the south. Maybe it's just really weird. Well, if it's you know his brother's daughter, then yeah, it's her, it's her fucking it's her niece. Like what the fuck? Is... After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her. After all, adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I am a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV upstairs, showed her all the cartoon channels, and left her there to watch some TV away from the boring adults. She was grateful. Okay. Cool. That's awesome. The dishy found out about the man in the attic. Oh, is this what it is? Do the fucking dishes. The night went on. It seemed like everybody had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs and tell Lily you to get with us. You got this? And then all of a sudden, Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple minutes before she could speak, but then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs. I searched just everything. Say, say real quick. Just real quick. You know, these are supposed to be horror games, not memoirs. Yeah, pretty much. Why don't you just get a fucking voice actor to- uh, it's, it's made so beautifully, you can't get someone on Fiverr to just do it. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed she was probably just getting tired, and soon after, they left for the night. I am once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. Hehehe. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? This is- it's not familiar. Time to get some sleep. Oh, great. Thing is, if he's- if he's only in the attic, then just don't go up there, man. Yeah, like, just don't go up there. Checkmate. He's staring at her from the attic. Well, I mean, I know I'm safe downstairs. What if I just left the fucking house, huh? What will you do then? What do you do if I just, just leave move, the house? Move, just move down to move your room down to the fucking living room. You don't have guests very often. I mean, I don't want to get a like, house and then just. You can't the fucking, fucking do anything when you're on the fucking. Hey, you're why on is the first floor. light open? That's weird. Okay, whatever. According to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from this doorway before returning to the attic, just like in my dreams. That's not a fucking attic, man. That's a bedroom, man. That's way worse. Close your fucking door. He's oh, fucking, God like, damn. If he's the man in the attic. Like... Hey. The noises. They're coming from the attic. Nah, fuck you. We're going to bed. We're going to bed. Come on, buddy. No, go fuck yourself. You don't have a gun. You're a Brit. Go fuck, dude. Come on. This is how people fucking die. This guy's definitely a liberal. This fucking idiot. I gotta go check out what's in the attic. Dude, you're hearing noises in there. How about you don't go in there? You ever think about that? This, this, this guy's a liberal. This guy's a liberal. Oh, uh, fuck you. I don't remember leaving this door open because you didn't open it, you fucking idiot. You heard a noise. You better run. You're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking moron. Oh, Caden, it's your fucking profile picture. Oh, why do you gotta do that? Hey, this is stupid. There's nothing up here. Oh, yeah, okay, look at that painting. Leave. Look at that painting real quick. Yeah? I thought it was the, uh, the painting from Layers of Fear. I was like, they just rip the asset from that game? Most likely. <laughs> Unity games look so beautiful, but pretty much everything's borrowed. I hope there's nobody over here. I hope there's nobody here. That would scare me. That would make me really fearsome. I like how I didn't close the attic door. 
Oh my god, go fuck yourself. Go to bed! Sometimes, a strange noise at night keeps you awake. Then you anxiously search for the cause, but you won't find anything. And you question it once more. Is the man in the attic real? What? Yeah, that's why you don't go in the attic. Yeah, yeah it, it's, 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 it's kind of the, the moral of the story here. Imagine this was just the whole game, and you didn't even get to see anything. There was no, no scares or anything, this was just the whole game. I, they're probably setting up a jump scare right now. Uh, I don't know. You tell me, son. You're the one that made the game. I said, Am I, am I supposed to move? No? Oh, no. Oh. oh, shiver me timbers. Fear is subjective, but it is not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic or the man in the basement. Perhaps the man under your bed. It, it, was, it, was this the whole game? I, dude, if this is the whole game, then I apologize to you greatly. Thanks for playing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for playing my specific Peter. fear, the man in the attic. Oh, no, 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 we're still making this video to, to talk shit to this fucking out this developer. <laughs> you go, go off, go off. This isn't a fucking horror game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking documentary. You're just reading half the time. The only person this would scare is someone who really hates English class. I love you, I love you, I love you.